It didn't take long before I was showing Karen and Jason exactly how to use the naughty zone. Karen, deal with that, please. We were in the living room and Joseph hit his sister. And when mum gave him a warning, he swore at her and then spit right in her face. Daddy's warning. Right, Joe, listen. To level. Watch this. He spits in your face. You bring him in and you say to him, you do not spit <laughs> at anybody because that behaviour is unacceptable. Do you understand? <laughs> now you stay in this room. <laughs> Joseph was not given in to the naughty zone. Oh, don't worry! And then all of a sudden he peed in the middle of the floor like a dog. Want an apology, Joe? <laughs> no. I want an apology. No. Right, he doesn't get one. We go. Let's go. <coughs> now, if he can't say he's sorry for that behaviour, then he stays in here. Yeah. Close the door and put him back in. <coughs> go and get him. You go again. No. In the room. You. Ignore it. I can't believe this four-year-old has just given his mum the finger. It's just disgusting. We've got a lock on the door, so why can't we just lock the door and keep him in there for his defined time? You can't lock your kids up to control them. Whilst Joseph was in the naughty zone, Ben swore at his mother, and then she had to place Ben into another naughty zone. You come out, Ben, when you stop swearing, OK? No sooner had she got one child into a naughty zone, the other one had come out of theirs. Back in the room. <laughs> now, come on. <laughs> there were times when Mum was really struggling to make the naughty zone technique work because the boys were pushing the technique to the extreme limits. Ben, what did I say to you? Guys, you stop me. Ben. Ben, in there now. No! When I saw the two boys escaping from their respective naughty zones, I knew Karen would need my support to enforce the technique. You know, it's ridiculous. Right, one child, one room. <laughs> Karen, <laughs> you're stronger than him. Pick up your young son. Joseph got so angry at one point that his tantrum had worn Mum down. And she was just about to give up, and so I intervened. That was a big relief to me, because I really felt like I was getting support. I was very impressed with how she dealt with Joseph. I'm not too convinced that Karen can continue it. I think the, the desire to, to do it is there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it. He's four years old. You're now in charge, and not him. Let me go! It's incredibly vital that Karen learns to manage two children in two different naughty zones at the same time. I want you to say sorry first, Ben, and it can come out. Sorry. Come on. No more swearing, OK? No. Very quickly, Ben had learnt to realise and, and take the consequences for his actions. <coughs> Joseph's rebellious behaviour had lasted for an hour and a half before he gave in and realised that Mum was in charge of this situation and not little Joseph. I want you to apologise to me for your bad behaviour and then you can come out of the naughty zone. Karen does have a lot more work, but she's taken the first step, and that's a milestone for Karen. Joseph went in and out quite a few times, but it was a lot less stressful than shouting at him, and I didn't feel so wound up. Hopefully it can only get better from now. Go and get a drink now and we'll make some cakes. Blake's the biggest problem we have right now. Blake! Oh, my goodness. Blake! Whoa! Blake tends to run off all the time. It scares the life out of me. That little boy's just running to the street. Blake! What is it? No, step away. Do not. Blake went from refusing to stay still to refusing to move. Get up. <laughs> 